YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, it has been forever. I haven't said that in forever. Okay, just a month, but that seems like forever to me. Um, and today, I have nothing to say. <laughs> I literally have nothing to say. I came on today to fix my hair, I guess. Um, I came on today, wow, what is going on today? I came on today to say, Tuesday is my least favorite day of the week. Do you guys have a least favorite day of the week? Because Tuesday is my least favorite day of the week. I cannot stand Tuesday. It's not the middle of the week. It's not the beginning of the week. It's not the end of the week. Who made Tuesday, right? Anyways, that's literally all I had to say, guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start making YouTube videos, you know, here and there. I'm gonna start focusing on um, YouTube videos that have to do with the parents. The parents, the parents, the parents. So my little uh, first grader now is in first grade. Ooh, so exciting, so exciting, guys. And he's struggling. He is struggling. He doesn't wanna do his homework. He doesn't want to um, read. He doesn't wanna do it, he doesn't wanna do it, he doesn't wanna do it. So I am here to try to help parents that are struggling and are on that struggle bus as well because that is where I am especially with this online teaching um, when he goes to online full remote um, he definitely doesn't want to do it he doesn't want to do it and who can blame him right when I'm at home so um, when I'm at home my work ethic is not very good uh, <laughs> so I can't blame him and so I'm here to give you some strategies about how to help your kid at home yay Yay! <laughs> so, number one, make it fun. 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 Um, I like to do a lot of um, dancing and singing. My my son loves to make songs so that he understands and remembers all of the concepts so we do a lot of that make it fun make it fun i promise it will help um number two number two do not get frustrated do not get frustrated when your child is at home and he is frustrated or she is frustrated and it's the end of the world and life is going to fall down into pieces and they cannot figure it out. You cannot get frustrated. I think this is not straight. Oh, it wasn't, that's okay. You cannot get frustrated. Keep smiling, tell them it's all right. Do not get frustrated. Number three. Number three is going to be take your time, put a small amount of time you don't want it to be a large amount of time because once they're done and they're frustrated they're done there's no coming back so put a small amount of time aside for homework so that they can do the homework um i know my little six-year-old he gets frustrated really fast and once he, it's hard for him he's done and i have to i had to learn that once he's done i need to say okay we're both done let's put it aside let's come back to it later um making that time after school for him to do it has helped tremendously. So I would put a time after school for him to do it. And then sometimes he doesn't do it. He literally doesn't do it. He's like, I'm done. I don't want to do this. Stop. Leave me alone. And I have to say, okay, let's stop. We're done. Let's come back to it later when you're in a better mood. So put a time aside for him them to do it put a time aside for them to do it and then if they don't get it done in that time move that time be flexible that would be number four be flexible this is a learning process okay even if they're in sixth grade my little sixth graders they're still learning they are still young they are not adults they don't know this stuff yet the internet, the web, the whatever you call it is hard, okay? Being on technology all day, every day is hard. So um, be flexible. Your teachers are flexible right now. I know some of them have those hard deadlines, but they're flexible. Trust me, they're flexible, okay? So be flexible. You be fle flexible as a parent. And then number five, all I had was five. Um, number five would be to praise praise, praise, praise. 
my son gets really down on himself and he's like, I can't do it, I can't read. And those words, I can't. We, I tell my little sixth graders, we don't say I can't, we can. And I tell my son the same thing and then I praise him. He reads one sentence, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we read a sentence. Oh. And it is literally the best day of my life. So I show him that it's the best thing that he could do. So praise, praise, praise. Um, I don't say to bribe, bribe and praise are two different things. I don't ever say, if you read this sentence, here's a piece of candy, he's not a dog. Um, so bribe, bribing works. Bribing does work. You have to do it minimum because if you keep giving, 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 they're gonna keep taking, 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 and that's it. That's all they're gonna get out of it, is give and take. They're not really learning. They're not really understanding. So yes, you can award. I think that's good. I have a treasure box in my classroom. My little sixth graders get them. Um, so my son gets awards too, but make sure that your words, you're praising them. You're letting them know that you are proud of them. Be proud of them. Praise and be proud would be number five. So that's all I had really. Um, I just wanted to, that was the struggle I was going through with my little, little one. So I wanted to see if I can help some parents because yesterday we had a very, very hard time with homework and I had to sit down and look at myself and say, what am I doing wrong? Because this kid is driving me crazy. So <laughs> those are the things that I figured out that have been working that I'm going to continue to do. And hopefully he catches on and the school thing becomes easier because it's not easy for everyone. I really want to tell you guys that school's hard. It's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. There are people out there that do amazing things without school. They have to get through it but it's not for everyone. So it's going to be hard for some people. So make sure you keep that in mind. And that's really all I had to say today. Besides, I don't like Tuesday. Do you like Tuesday? What's your favorite day of the week? Mine would be Monday. I know I'm crazy. My favorite day of the week would be Monday. Monday, 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 because it's the start of the new week. You get to start your week fresh. You get to start over from whatever happened last week. And so it definitely would be Monday. What's your favorite day of the week? All right, bye guys.